In terms of major challenges, there are many, but uh, what I would put as top uh, of major challenge is the pace of change. Uh, because the implication of pace of change um, it's actually uh, impact a lot of uh, other aspects in, in terms of technology. Uh, it impacts um, uh, business models, it impacts um, time to market. Uh, it also uh, impacts, of course, uh, technological innovation uh, as, well, as, well, uh, as well as keeping up to date uh, with the knowledge. Um, so as we've seen now, uh, today, we've been discussing 5G that would require uh, a lot of talented and skilled people and that have an impact on the education also on how uh, to bring in into this new area, this new technological area, skilled people uh, to cope not only with the technology of 5G but also on all the other aspects that are related to 5G, IoT, um, uh, as well as data management and uh, data analysis and all these aspects. Um, and also artificial intelligence uh, on, on future deployment for uh, 5G. Well, this is going to be uh, really uh, a big challenge uh, for telcos uh, because unlike the other technology, data in 5G is not only about managing the data for subscribers. Uh, there is a lot of data which is generated, transported or uh, uh, let's say uh, store it uh, when we are talking about 5G which is in different places some data on the cloud some data which is related to the application the configuration the policy of access and a lot of data is in the edge of the network where we have millions and millions of uh, devices to be connected uh, to 5G. So this is really a big challenge for operators and uh, I would say that the best way is to learn from the use cases from uh, this, uh, let's say, uh, deployment, early deployment of 5G. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't think there is, uh, let's say, as in now, uh, like an established approach uh, to manage. Uh, I think it will come more with learning with the use cases and uh, this trial uh, deployment for 5G. Well, the economic impact um, of uh, digital transformation definitely cannot be dissociated from uh, social impact and it is actually an impact on the society as a whole. Uh, the economic impact of uh, digital transformation, of course, there is uh, uh, the positive impact uh, which uh, allowing more productivity, allowing more automation, uh, allowing more effectiveness. Uh, but also uh, there is other impacts, uh, which is like losing jobs that uh, uh, actually we need really uh, to look at. And this is uh, where government industries and academia, they have to work together that at the national level, uh, uh, we know that if we are losing jobs here, there are much more jobs that are created from the other side. Uh, so. So um, in order to keep a positive impact of digital transformation, uh, it is really uh, very important for all the stakeholders to sit together and uh, um, see and view uh, what is the best way uh, to be uh, the, uh, a leader uh, on, on, on digital transformation than a follower and simple consumer uh, where a lot of uh, sectors in the economy, uh, let's say, uh, job are going to be lost but not really uh, generated in the same economy but generated uh, elsewhere. Uh, so uh, this is uh, roughly, let's say, the economic impact of uh, digital transformation. Of course, there is a lot of, um, uh, let's say, tentative or methodologies now trying to uh, see the, uh, to quantify actually the impact of digital transformation. Um, there is no common, uh, let's say, or uh, uh, um, uh, uh, an, an approach that is uh, adopted globally, uh, but definitely uh, we will soon be able to quantify this and uh, especially identify where there is the gaps and where uh, government with industry together uh, should act as well as academia uh, should act to, uh, to bridge the gap and uh, uh, entirely enjoy this uh, positive economic benefit of digital transformation.